I am at the butthole for refusing to talk to my roommate because she used my banana cake to clean up glass shards. Posted by TK Drew 3807. I am an exchange student and recently moved in with my roommate Jane. I brought a banana cake from my home country that has a special recipe and is very close to my heart. It is not something you can find locally. It is a taste of home that keeps my homesickness at bay. I placed it on a table in our shared living area, but did not explicitly tell Jane about its importance. About a week ago, Jane accidentally broke a glass of water and shards went everywhere on the floor. We do not have a broom or a vacuum cleaning yet, so she used my banana cake to clean up the shards, saying she'd read online that bread could be used to pick up tiny glass pieces. We did not have bread, so she decided to use my banana cake. When I found out I was livid, Jane shrugged it off, saying it was just cheap banana cake and that she would buy me the best cake from the cafe to make it up to me. She even said that using the cake was actually for my benefit too as it cleaned up the shards that I could have stepped on. I have not spoken to her since and I'm seriously considering changing roommates. She seems entirely unapologetic and does not understand why I'm so upset. It is not about the cake's monetary value. It is about what it represents and her utter disregard for my feelings. Am I the butthole? Did you ever experience something similar? Feel free to share. And now to the comments. Crumbcrackers commented. Not the butthole. What happens if she runs out of toilet paper? Is she going to use your sheets or towels? Void and Joy commented. Not the butthole, but you're going to need to talk to her about this. I'd also. I don't know get a broom or something. Using bread to clean anything besides sauce on a plate before it goes in your mouth is goofy. Step into the fairing likes to add. Not the butthole. She could have gone to the nearest grocery store and bought both a loaf of bread and a dustpan for like five dollars. There was no reason to use your cake other than sheer laziness. A comment from falling into polka dots. Not the butthole. There are plenty of ways to clean up broken gas that do not involve using food. I do not have any idea why she thought wiping cake on the floor was the best idea, because then you also have smeared cake on the floor, which you also have to clean up, and the cake is ruined. It is like a really passive-aggressive way of indicating she did not like slash want the cake, or she is just really stupid. But yeah, you should tell her what the cake meant to you. A comment from Between Weeb and Otaku. Not the butthole. More than the idiotic reaction in the moment, roommate's actions after the fact showed that she is not a person you'd want to be around. She has devalued something precious to you, insulted it, tried to twist the situation to make it look like she did you a favour and cannot even understand or at least won't admit why you're upset. Switch roommates and do not look back. Dear listener, if you want to see more cute cats, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. To the next post. Am I the butthole for ignoring my husband on our anniversary? Posted by Black or Dope 121. I work long hours, 16 plus 3 minutes 4 days a week at minimum. I put my meds in one of those weekly cases and take them daily. The pill bottle with remaining pills is on my dresser in my bedroom. Last week, after not seeing my husband for several days due to working, he mentioned to me that he's been taking my extra meds Adderall, for those wondering. I told him those went extra and, after looking in the bottle, told him that now I did not have enough to get me through the rest of the month. I usually only take the Adderall on days I am working, because that's when I need to be focused hence the extra sometimes, but I have been working a ton of overtime lately to catch up on bills. So the following week I am back to working a ton of hours and barely being home. I go to fill my weekly med pack and the bottle of Adderall is empty. I wake my husband to ask what happened. He replies that he finished them. I get upset and start yelling at him. He apologizes and says that he thought it would be okay, since I could take ease handing me my stepson's medication. I am furious and explain to him that, one I am not stealing my son's meds and, two his meds are a different strength and long acting, whereas mine are immediate release. I do want to mention that my son just left for boot camp and won't be home for several months, therefore does not need these. Today happens to be our anniversary and my husband is saying that I shouldn't be mad at him. He's sorry. Blah blah blah. Am I being in butt, or do I have the right to be mad? I do not even want to spend the day with him today, and it is our damn anniversary. If you made it this far, thanks for reading. And now to the comments. A comment from Sincer Effort. Not the butthole. He can get his own meds. Why did not he take the son's meds? Why did he take yours and want you to take the son's? 
Von Bodybuilder 4620 commented. Not the butthole. He has a drug problem. Mother R3124 commented. Not the butthole. You have every right to be upset, especially when it is something as important as your medications. He not only committed a crime, but also put you in a position where you cannot get the medical treatment you need and your refilling meds like Adderall is difficult. You have every right to be upset, especially because you previously discussed this with him. Celebrate your anniversary by yourself with a treat and a massage, my friend. OP answers. Thanks. I think that is a wonderful idea. Seven carrots commented. Not the butthole. What he did is literally a crime. To the next post. AM I the butthole for accidentally getting my friend high. Posted by first statement 7292. I read it. I, 20 year old female, had my friend. 21 year old female, let's call her Alice. Over at my place the other day. We had just come home from a bar for a little nightcap since everything had closed by that point. When we got to my apartment, I quickly went to the bathroom and told Alice to make herself at home. Suddenly, maybe 10 minutes later, she started acting really weird. Like she was slurring her words in an excessive way and seemed to be completely spaced out. I was incredibly confused because she had barely drank when we were out and now she was out of it. My first thought was that she could have been drugged at the bar we just were at. Whilst trying to figure out what the heck I am supposed to do, she asked me what flavor my vape was, which confused me because I do not vape, nor do I smoke. I asked her what she meant and she pointed at a vape on my bookshelf. That's when everything clicked. For my 20th birthday, a friend 20-year-old male had bought me a THC vape. My gift would be tickets to watch the new Spider-Man movie high. I am not a stoner, but I maybe once or twice a year smoke with friends, just for fun. Anyway, I had not smoked it since then, so it was just lying on the top of my bookshelf. I am short so I never see it hence me suppressing its existence. Alice, however, is very tall. She must have been looking around whilst I was in the bathroom, seeing the vape which looks very unassuming like any vape and taking some puffs. Mind you, I do not know what the F type of vape this is, because I remember taking Max two puffs and I had a complete out of body experience and I do not even know how many puffs she took, she is an avid vapor. I asked her if she had smoked that vape and she said yes. Now Alice is extremely anti-drugs. Her father was a heroin addict so she never did anything except drink alcohol. I always had a total understanding and full respect to her disposition to drugs so I never ever did drugs in front of her I have only ever smoked weed and did the occasional molly festivals as you do lol she completely understandably freaked out and started crying. I tried calming her as much as I could. I tried giving her food and water or anything to sober her up but she screamed at me that I had drugged her. She said she couldn't believe I had done this to her etc. I had to call her boyfriend and explain the situation and he picked her up. I feel effing awful. My stomach drops even thinking about it. If I had remembered the vape of course, I would have stashed it away more safely. But I had not planned on her coming over until we went to my place and by the point we were home. I was tipsy and the thought did not even cross my mind, just as it had not since I had put it on the shelf. As soon as she left, I sent a huge apology text to her, but she left me to read. I get it. She has since blocked me everywhere and shunned me to all our mutual friends who are all torn on the issue. I have barely slept since I cannot eat. I feel so bad. And hash x 400 b Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. A comment from Hanarada 415 Not the butthole. Who the F takes someone's vape and smokes it without permission? When I first read the title I thought she may have gotten into some unmarked edible cookies or something. Alice is the only one to blame here, and maybe it will teach her a lesson to not take someone's stuff without permission. FC can sleep is commented. Not the butthole. You did not drug her. Alice used her vape without your knowledge. She should have asked first. Do not feel bad. It is not your fault. According at 6,364 likes to add. Not the butthole. If she is so anti-drug, she shouldn't be using random vapes without asking what's in them first. She is not a toddler. She can resist the urge to stick and own things in her mouth. Interbang Swiss commented. Not the butthole. She is being totally unreasonable, which I kind of get, given her family history. However, she needs to take ownership of the fact that this is totally on her. Who just picks up someone else's vape and has a go without even asking? 
She put that in her mouth and was not even going to tell you. Rude, and I hope this teaches her a lesson about asking before you help yourself to someone's stuff. Future Direction 5174 likes to add. Not the butthole. She saw a vape and used it without asking. She is to blame just as much as if she saw a pillbox and took one of the pills thinking it was an aspirin. OP replied to that. That's actually true. I did not think of it that like that. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. That is all I have for you today. I hope you liked it. I wish you a great day.